welcome to Missouri. Let's see if I get a green light or a red light. Oh, I got a green light. Awesome. areas, 
I just kind of blend in with the people that are there with the cars. So nobody bothers me. Not that anybody really has bothered me much to begin with. I, uh, I've only got, you know, smiles, nods, greetings. Nobody's really said much of anything other than they're surprised that I drive solo and I'm OTR. Like, it, it's hard for them to comprehend that women are capable of doing that and willing. And I actually enjoy it. So I, I guess some, it's just harder for some of these guys to uh, see that. Because it's not an easy lifestyle, that's for sure. And I, I say lifestyle because trucking is a lifestyle. You don't just work 9 to 5 Monday through Friday. We live in our truck 24 hours a day for weeks on end. We don't go home. We don't see family. We're not home on the holidays. You know, it's, we're not home for birthdays or, you know, any of that stuff. So it's harder for people to understand our way of life. Are you coming up here, buddy? Okay, this guy's texting. Apparently they don't have any blinker fluid. getting into trucking just realize that you're going to miss out on a lot of life and this has to be something that you're passionate about it has to be something that you enjoy something that you're good at something that that you can do day in and day out for weeks and months depending on what company you go for and what lanes you're running, whether you're Midwest or Northeast or South or whatever, I definitely enjoy it. There are days that are frustrating, but that's just trucking in general. You know, when we get to a shipper or receiver, they can take six hours to load up or unload up. And those first two hours that we're sitting there, we don't get paid for. We're just sitting there waiting. Detention doesn't kick in until after two hours. And most of these shippers and receivers know that. And they can load you or unload you fairly quickly, 20, 30 minutes. And they won't start until you're about an hour and 30 into your two hours. And you'll get kicked loose when you're like almost exactly two hours into your time waiting so they don't have to pay attention and those two hours are hours you don't get paid for and you'll never see again you're just sitting in your truck so if I go to a place where I know like on the Google reviews if I know that this place is going to take a while I take advantage of those two hours I will remake some food what are you doing, Miss Danny Irving? Come on, come over. You're holding up traffic. Come on. Come on. Um, I will pre-make food. I will organize my truck. I am always cleaning the floor in my truck because I walk through those truck stop parking lots and I drag that stuff in on my boots. Even though I take my boots off 99% of the time at my driver's seat. My boots don't go back into the, the sleeper berth. But I still, it's, I do the lights all wipes. I wash my windshield. I try and keep myself occupied by cleaning my truck and making sure everything is set up in a manner that makes my life more comfortable on the road. You know, I've got my little nest of pillows back there because one pillow, that's ridiculous. Who wants to deal with just one pillow? I've got four and a sit-up pillow. Got my laptop back there. I'll sit back there and watch a show. I mean, not that I watch a whole lot of stuff, or I'll edit my videos for YouTube. Um, I just try and keep myself occupied because I know some of these places, you're just going to be sitting there waiting. 
know, I've been at a place where I got my 10 hour reset waiting for them to, uh, it was a Menards. I don't remember if they were loading me or unloading me. But I got my 10 hour reset there. And some of these places don't allow truckers to use their bathroom facilities. And we're stuck there for 10 hours. So it, it boggles my mind. Like, I will go in and say, hey, look, can I please use your bathroom? I can't exactly piss in a bottle. And 100% of the time, they completely understand. And they let me in. But the fact that I even have to ask for that, a basic human necessity of life, is one of the crappier parts of trucking. You know, so you have to go into that bearing in mind that shippers and receivers generally just treat drivers like crap. There are some good places. There are some that have trucker lounges, vending machines, and like the Walmart distribution centers, the Walmart DCs, those places are decked out. You know, they deck them out for their drivers, but they are also open to the other drivers. So, those places are great. But then there's places that you go to and they're like, no, sorry, we don't have public bathrooms. So I'm not the public. I'm delivering stuff to you. And, and they don't understand. They're like, no, sorry. I, I hear that all the time from other drivers. You know, or even on a Google review. They don't have bathrooms for truckers. You know, so if that's something that you've ever thought about getting into, just these are things to keep in mind. And, and contemplate if it's something that you can tolerate being told no, you can't use the bathroom. Or having, if I go to a shipper and a receiver on the same day, and the shipper keeps me for two hours, and then the receiver keeps me for two hours, that's four hours out of my day that I'll never get back and I'm not getting paid for. Because it's two hours at every, every dock that you bump. So, oh yeah, you can come on over. Cut me off with 70 feet. That's not enough clearance. My sensor in front of me tells me how far up ahead they are when they cut in front of me like that. Anyways, just food for thought, things to contemplate as I'm driving from Texas to Wisconsin and sharing this uh, OTR run with you guys. Anyways, probably more later. Thanks for joining.